Hi, I'm Willie, and welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. In this video, we are going to install Windows Server 2016 Essentials. Now, please note, I said it is Essentials. It is not, you know, regular server. It's Essentials. So keep that in mind. It's going to be installed in a VM. We're just installing on a 100 gig virtual drive. We're going to install it. And then in the next video, we're going to configure Active Directory and all those networking things that everybody, everybody wanted to see. So let's hop into installing this on a virtual machine. Welcome to installing Windows Server 2016 Essentials in a virtual machine. This will be a virtual machine, not a physical machine. We've got 8 gigs of RAM, one processor, a 100 gig drive, the ISO file mounted, and let's go ahead and power this up and get Windows installed. This is part one. Part two will cover how to install Active Directory on Server Essentials. Now, this is Server Essentials, not standard server. Here we're going to click Next. We're going to click Install Now. We've only got one drive, so when that comes up, we won't do any partitioning at this point. We don't have a product key, so we'll click that button. We accept the license terms and click Next. We'll click uh, Custom and then Next. We'll just install everything in the C drive. So I did speed this up. If you look at the clock in the bottom right hand corner, you'll notice though that in a VM, even though I sped this up, it really only took a few minutes to install Windows Server 2016 Essentials in a virtual machine. You previously saw Tim install this on a physical machine and this is our virtual machine because we're going to take it a step further and we're going to show you how to set up Active Directory. Sped this up a little bit here. I had to reboot uh, a couple times. Now we're going to type in our administrator password. And we'll re-enter it, and then we'll click Finish. It's going to finalize our settings. We're going to go up and hit Control-Alt-Delete. Put in our administrator password. It's going to log us into the server. We're going to adjust the time zone. Right now it's got us in the Pacific time zone. And once this comes up, we will set this to Central time zone. Now this is the first time we've logged in, so things are moving a little slower. You know how it is the first time you ever log into anything. And we'll just say yes, let this machine be discovered. And see what's got us in Pacific time. We're going to drop that down. Go to Central Time. You'll see the clock updated from 5.12 a.m. to 7.12 a.m. Let's go ahead and close this guy. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the VMware tools. So we'll go to VM, install VMware tools. And by the way, that 192.168.66.15 is an ESXi 6.5 machine and we're managing that from VMware Workstation. Once our VMware Tools disk comes up, we'll run the install if it doesn't start automatically. The VMware Tools is a software abstraction layer that allows you to really leverage the VMware with your operating system to make it much more efficient, especially when it comes to graphics and things like that. Configure Windows Server Essentials window keeps popping up there. We're going to minimize that. We're going to click Next. Just in case we want to move this, we'll click com Complete and then Install. And the VMware tool setup is going to fly right through here. It takes a few minutes. I sped it up. I cut a, cut a couple things out. Kind of keep it brief here. It's copying new files. Over there on the left hand side, you can see some of the name of the other VMs we've got. So if you got any questions about those, put those down in the comments. It's 
we click finish and we'll go ahead and reboot and with this being in a virtual machine it reboots really quickly we'll hit our control delete again put in our super secret password now what we're going to do is we're going to bring up the server manager and we need to install Chrome so we're going to go to local server and we're going to go to the IE enhanced configuration and we're going to click where it says on we're going to turn it off for administrators and that essentials wants to uh, keep configuring now we're going to bring up IE. We'll just uh, click OK here and accept the defaults. It doesn't matter. We're not going to use it again. So now we're going to go to www.google.com slash Chrome. And we are going to walk through the Google Chrome installation. This is usually the first thing that I do. Now this is part one. One thing you haven't seen here that we'll do in the next part is we'll set a static IP address and then we will configure Active Directory. Here we are installing Google Chrome. Now I did not, you'll see when the download comes up, I did not speed up the download. I was really impressed with how fast Chrome downloads. Watch this. I don't know how big Chrome is. It's got to be bigger than a meg. And that thing went quickly. In Chrome, I prefer to use it over Internet Explorer for obvious reasons. And I'm assuming that most of you watching this probably use Chrome or Firefox over Internet Explorer. So that's it. Chrome's installed. Okay, so that's the base for our Windows Server 2016 installation. It's installed. There's a few more things we have to do, like put a static IP address on, and then run for the configuration. Now remember, this is Server 2016 Essentials, and the licensing for this version is different than a standard server that you would purchase. So it has a maximum amount of CALs that it can have, and it's got you know other software and things that come with it. So to check it out, go out to Google and just do a quick search for Windows Server 2016 Essentials. Microsoft will walk you through those options. They'll let you download a trial. So, you know, that's it. Come back for the second part where we're going to do those other configuration items. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please use those Amazon affiliate links down there to keep a few bucks rolling into the channel. And we'll see you in the next video.